Hi, hello everyone. This is Marius from The Consultant. Today, our topic will be speed hacks for professional presentations in PowerPoint. So we're going to talk about what can be useful to improve your speed in building slides and the tools in PowerPoint you can use to do that. So let's take a quick look at the agenda of this video so you know what to expect and take away from it. First of all, you're going to learn what the quick access toolbar is and what you might want to do with it and which commands you actually want to add to it. Then we're going to learn how to quickly align, group and distribute objects. Another topic will be PowerPoint icons and why they can speed up your work. And last but not least, we're going to check out some of the most useful shortcuts. Those obviously are not going to be all of them, but at least the ones I use most often. All right, enough talking, let's get started. Quick access toolbar. For those of you who don't know what that is, we talk about the thing up here and you can add commands to it, which you use often. And if they are up there, it'll save you a lot of time since you don't have to search for a particular command every single time. And even if you know where to find it, uh, you still have to click your way through to actually use it. So the quick access bar saves you a lot of time. Now, what do you want to add to it? I guess everyone has its own personal preferences. So I'm going to show you the commands I normally put up on the toolbar. And let's start with bring to the front and send to the back. I just click on arrange, then right click and add to quick access toolbar. One more time with send back. Here they are. This is very useful if you have different objects overlapping and want to bring one of them to the front or the other way around. The next command I typically use often is group and ungroup. Of course, there's a shortcut for this, but I still like to have it up there. Again, right click and add it. The next commands are probably the ones I use most often, align and distribute. In the next chapter, we're going to see in detail how these functions work. And I normally choose align left, right, bottom, top, and then center, middle, and finally distribute horizontally and vertically. So let's speed this up a little bit. I guess by now we all know how it works. Another thing in PowerPoint I typically use very often are PowerPoint icons. To add them, just click on insert, icons, right click, and add. Okay, last but not least, I often work with pictures. Uh, therefore, I use the cropping command a lot. To put it up there, I click on the picture, um, picture format, right click on crop, and here we go. So this is how my quick access toolbar typically looks. It's mostly about arranging objects, adding icons and cropping pictures. Again, guys, if you prefer another command or another order, just change it. Everything that helps you to improve your speed is great. And one more thing I also want to mention is that once you've set up your toolbar, you can always customize it. Just go to File, Options, Quick Access Toolbar and add or remove commands or change their order. Let's use the align, group and distribute commands and see what they might be useful for. First of all, your slide looks much more professional if you align your objects. Let's take this slide here. To make it look better, I would start with aligning the topic boxes on the top. The same here with the text boxes. Move them up a little bit. Now I want to align the text boxes to the left side of the topic boxes. And now I group the topic and text boxes together. That will make it much easier to distribute all objects. Obviously, you can also use the shortcut Control G to group. That's what I've done here in the last one. If possible, make sure to distribute your elements within the guides. So all of your slides will have the same frame, which again makes the whole thing much cleaner. So if you don't know what guides are, please check out our video on basics. I'll explain it there. Well, let's quickly sum up what I just did with the slide. I've aligned the objects, grouped them, and last but not least, distributed them. Now it already looks much better. So that was just one example of how to use these commands. I use them all the time and they really speed up my work. Okay, let's see what we can do with icons. Icons are a nice way to add some structure to your slide without adding additional text. So if you choose the right icons, your audience will immediately recognize them and quickly focus on the actual content. Therefore, icons in PowerPoint are a great thing. Let's say you have a slide like this one here. It already looks kind of clean. Things are aligned, distributed, 
but still it looks really empty. So with just a couple of icons, we can actually add something to it. So we open the icons on our quick access toolbar. Here it is. Now I'm going to use some random icons now. There are actually a lot of them here and with every update, they seem to get more and more. All right, let's choose some, let's say cats, muscles, letters and dinosaurs. What a weird slide. We insert them and they're on the slide. Now, this is actually pretty cool. With the icons in PowerPoint, it's possible to change the color very easily to the one you want. Like the colors in your PowerPoint master, for example. I remember the times where you had to go online and search for icons and sometimes research the color code of your client's corporate color and then download every single icon one by one with exactly the same color code. And uh, now this is much easier with the PowerPoint icons. Let's scale them down a bit so they fit into the boxes. We change the color into white and align them to the boxes. Here we go. Looks already better. All right. This will already be my last topic for this video, shortcuts. So nearly every single command will have a shortcut. Also the ones I've shown you before. So, and it's quite obvious, the more shortcuts you use, the faster you get. Now I will show you some of the shortcuts I typically use. And additionally, I will put a link into the description of the video where you can find a list of every single shortcut in PowerPoint and you can choose which ones you want to use. All right, let's get started with something very basic, copy and paste. I'm sure most of you know it already. If you want to copy and paste an object or even the whole slide, just press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. What I actually use more often is Ctrl D to duplicate. That's actually less work and does exactly the same on the slide. It just duplicates the object right next to the one. Obviously, if you want to copy something from one slide to another, use Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Another shortcut that comes in handy if you want to move an object from a slide to another one is Ctrl X. That cuts the selected object or text. So you don't have to copy, delete and paste it. You just cut it and then paste it back with Ctrl V. What I also use from time to time is Ctrl F to find text in my presentations. That is especially useful if you're dealing with bigger presentations and for example need to replace a word on every single slide. So I'll just search for icons. Choose replace with shapes. Press replace all. Here we go. Last but not least, the shortcut I use probably the most, Control Y. That's undo. And the faster you work, the faster you also make a mistake. So just undo it and try again. All right. Those were the shortcuts I typically use in PowerPoint. That was copy and paste, Control Z and Control V, duplicate, Control D, cut, Control X, find a word, Control F, and undo, Control Y. Guys, that's it for today. Let's quickly summarize what we've done. So we've learned what the quick access toolbar is, how to add commands to it, and which ones you actually want to put up there. We've used the align, group, and distribute command to quickly fix a slide. Again, in every single presentation, align your objects and text. That's a crucial element for the professional look. We've also checked out PowerPoint icons to quickly add some visuals to our slides without worrying about colors or anything else. And last but not least, we've talked about some useful shortcuts. Like I've said before, there are much more. Just check out the link in the description to see if there are more that can be useful for you. Okay, I hope the small hacks will help you to speed up your work. And if you want to learn more on how to create professional presentations in PowerPoint, check out our other videos and hit the subscribe button. It'll help us a lot. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.